Hey guys, we're going to talk about mechanically lifting the rear end of your truck using either a shackle, a block, or a leaf spring changeover. I want to lift my truck, so it's going to be a very bad drawing. But this is kind of what your truck will look like. Da da da. Please make fun of me. And then you have your tires. So if you want to put a bigger tire, you have to lift your truck. Now, you've already seen me add coil spacers. That makes the, basically brings your suspension up, so you can put a, from a small tire, you can put a big tire. Now, for the rear, a lot of our trucks have leaf springs. Some have coil, but we'll have leaf springs. Same deal if you want to do uh, a small lift, like a two, three, one and a half, three inch, whatever it is, three and a half. I've seen it with three and a half. Uh, coil spacers. I prefer the ones that are bolted in. Um, now, the thing with leaf springs is there's like three options you can get. You have your lift block that will raise up your suspension. You have your shackle, if you wanted to put like a bigger shackle. So it's going to be mounted for the front part of the suspension. There'll be the, uh, you'll have a long side and then you'll have a short side for your leaf spring. You got to make sure they go the right way. But the shackle effectively gives you that increase for your suspension. So you have a block, a lift, and what else do you have? You can add a couple leafs into the suspension. And you can get ones that are a little bit longer. You just have to force them in. And uh, that's it. So those are the three options. Now the shackles are pretty cool because you can actually change them a lot quicker than you could change out the leaf suspension or the blocks. Now I've been entertaining either going with a leaf, sorry, uh, a shackle. And I commonly do this with trailers too. It's pretty easy just to add in a new shackle. Some actually have a different adjustment holes to raise, raise, or lower the suspension. And all it does when this gets compressed, it pushes it out. And uh, that's why how your suspension will mostly travel. It keeps all the same mounting points. So the shackle will mount back up to the stock area. And this stays in the front part of the uh, leaf spring will stay in the, in the area and uh, where your axle mounts up to, which would be right here. Then you have your U-bolts that come down. And all it is is this bigger spacer here. So effectively you've given, you needed uh, new U-bolts and then this is a block. So that's all that changes. Then those bigger tires that you want will fit. For me, what I'm doing, I want to complement the front part of the uh, truck with the coil spacer I added. And when you do this kind of work, you have to add in new struts, shocks, whatever. You want to get the boot. And then for mine, I just have this style. And it's got the boot there. So, and then you have to get the ones that have the three inch, because mine's going to be a three inch lift. Um, you want to get the ones that are for a three inch lift. You could probably get away with just running the stock ones. You just might. Uh, Extend them. Um, just kind of think on that. If you have a three inch lift, you'll extend them higher. So you might bottom out wherever it is. So say this is a stock one, you'll have where the uh, where it normally sits. If you were to extend it that three inches, you're going to change where that plunger is inside the uh, the shock itself. So you might be at the max height at that point. So when you hit a bump, it'll compress. But when it goes back to normal riding height, it could extend a little bit and slam into where the uh, the shock, like the, the uh, extension of the shock. And at that point, you're just going to break your shocks and need new ones anyways. So it's probably a good idea when you increase the suspension height to get shocks or struts that will match the, uh, the suspension increase and or decrease. Especially if it's a decrease, oh, you're going to bust it anyways. So that's just effective, and I'm going to show you some images of what I'm talking about. Starting with, uh, we'll start with the shackles, and then we'll go with the blocks, and then we'll go with the, the uh, leaf spring suspensions. These are some adjustable shackles for your suspension. They bolt up to the rear, which you'll see a picture later, and typically they cost around 100 to 150 for a set of these to bolt onto your vehicle. And they mount up to the original mounting bracket at the top of the suspension, or sorry, at the top of the frame, and then they bolt down to your leaf springs. 
This is a picture of what you would find usually on a trailer. You can find these also on other 4x4 vehicles, but for the adjustments, these are what the typical shackles will look like. Now, when they're bolted up to the vehicle, and it's nice to have the grease fittings if you saw there, this is what they will look like. It's pretty easy to do. You can definitely do this within uh, an afternoon, and it'll give you the ride height while maintaining everything else. Now, the other, um, the other option we have is the, the blocks, which I was talking about. You're going to be changing the U-bolts, adding in the blocks, and you'll be taking apart your uh, suspension, maintaining where the leaf is bolted in. And these costs are at the same, about 100 150 And again, you could do this within an afternoon. You're not going to change any alignment or anything like that. You just unbolt everything, lift the truck, well, lift the truck up, block it, bolt it. And it's pretty easy to do, again, in an afternoon. And uh, going on to the next one, which would be changing out your leaf springs. This is much harder. This might take you the entire day because you have to unbolt everything. So your front mount, your rear mount, and then the axle mount. You're going to have axle stands and lifts all over the place. But this will give you a suspension lift, which is the most expensive option. Blocks and uh, shackles are about the same price, but leaf springs are exuberant. Lifting your truck with shackles gives you the adjustments. Basically on the fly, you just have to uh, unbolt it and have the truck lifted then lift the truck up to where the position where you want them to be and then rebolt it back in so your adjustments can be done within about 50 minutes per side of it I would presume for the same price we have block lifts they would be about the same difficulty to install and but they don't have the uh, adjustment that the shackle lift would have so that three inches stays three inches if that one inch two inch whatever it is the block of size is it stays at that. You just have to remember to cut off the excess U-bolt so it doesn't drag when you're going off-roading, which is important. And then lastly, we have leaf springs. So if you have leaf springs that are sagging, you can switch them out to uh, the same OEM or you can get a lift. Now, you, the lift that you get can range depending on what uh, leaf spring you have and it can be anywhere between 2 inches to 4 inches that I've seen. Just readily available online. Now this will be the most expensive option you can get. They'll range from $400 for a set, upwards of $1,000 that you see here for a set. And this would be one of the better, stronger options I would go with to maintain your vehicle's ability to ride well and to carry a load. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe.